We're here at CBS 2016 in Nairobi, Kenya, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined today by Pyotr Pluta, who is the Director of Corporate Affairs at EMEA in Russia for Cisco. Pyotr, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Now, we're looking at here at Global ICT Capacity Building Symposium. It's uh, essentially a, an important event in ITU's calendar, a slight rebranding of an event that has been going on for quite some time because, because capacity building is a very important subject for us. I just really wanted to talk to you about it. Why is it important for Cisco to be here today? Thank you for asking that. The capacity of uh, ICT skills has been for us important for more than 20 years. And uh, since, 20, since more than 20 years, we have uh, invested in Cisco Networking Academy, which is exactly focused on capacity building of young people and enable them to thrive in digitizing economy. Today, we have about 1 million students a year joining this program, and we believe we make a big difference. At the same time, uh, we want to move forward, and partnering with ITU is critical because this is an organization which can bring us additional perspective of what exactly the gaps are, how we can work with the governments and with other NGOs together. So being here is like no brainer for us. Now you participated in a panel discussion here today. I wanted to find out from you uh, some of the comments that you've been, uh, been listening to uh, and, and uh, the conversations that you've been participating in. It was a great panel discussion uh, with uh, members of industry, academia and governments. Uh, discussing on uh, how we can really build the capacity, uh, multiple topics. Uh, the ones which I would highlight uh, was the, the practicality of the capacity building. And what I have uh, mentioned is that it's not only about building the skills for digital consumers so that the citizens can really grasp the technology and use it for their purpose, but also for the designers and the developers. So those which will actually bring the new technologies and, and grasp the opportunities coming from the Internet of Things mainly. I particularly address the topic of uh, what does it mean to be innovative company? Where does it come from? And uh, we see the three important areas, which is uh, hyper awareness. This world requires really a lot of data analysis and smart decisions. Uh, then uh, uh, predictability. We know that it's dynamic world, it's not easy to predict, but uh, if we don't look in, in front of us, if we are not able uh, to analyze the data, listen to uh, customers, stakeholders, employees, and partners, um, it will be difficult to, uh, to thrive uh, in this economic environment. And finally, very important, agility. Being able to adjust to the changing situation. And again, from these four perspectives as well. So it was great panel discussion. Uh, I also enjoyed others. And the byline of this uh, particular symposium is embracing capacity building opportunities in a digital era. I wanted to find out from you, is there still very much a digital divide? Uh, are, are, are a lot of people still unable to embrace uh, these opportunities? Oh, yes. And uh, I would look at this in two dimensions. One dimension is the digital divide from the perspective of uh, uh, our citizens to being able to use what is already available. We have all social media, digital uh, services from governments, uh, trading and all of that. So still we have a lot of people who cannot use internet or they cannot use it in a way that is really maximizing the, what's available. But the second dimension is also very important, which is, uh, as I mentioned before, the developers and designers. Um, there is uh, a gap between what is required by the industry or what opportunities are already there because of new technologies and what is the supply of these skills from public and other education. And uh, I, I'm particularly uh, concerned looking at the trend that this gap is growing, which means that uh, we, 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 didn't, we have not been able to adjust the education supply to what is the demand, which leaves uh, probably a lot of young people uh, without uh, opportunity to grasp what is uh, coming with this fo uh, fourth revolution, yeah, digital revolution. But I think thanks to the initiatives like, like this symposium, hopefully we will be able to, clo to, to, to close this gap, make it sh shorter, and uh, help young people to thrive. 
and looking forward to the future, how would you hope to see this environment grow? Definitely there is an important role in the future for corporations and established industry. Uh, I hope there will be a lot of innovation coming from inside these organizations, uh, even if this is sometimes not easy. Uh, th another area which uh, I count very much and I believe this will be very important is the completely new innovation coming from startups, young people uh, who are uh, not restricted by existing pro processes and they are brave enough to change that. Uh, within Cisco Networking Academy we are supporting student startups. Just to give you two examples, one which has uh, where students have developed a socially focused project of uh, connected stick for the blind people, which gives a completely new experience and support uh, for, this, for this group in the society. And it looks like it's a very viable business at the same time. So it's a so socially respectful, but also very nice and disruptive business. Another one, uh, the startup which is using uh, sensors and uh, uh, low bandwidth, long distance networks for sensors in agriculture and drones. And this is helping to uh, uh, improve crops control, uh, as well as a very interesting uh, use case of reforestation of remote areas without people touching that. That's great. And that, this comes from students, right? I hope that there will be more of that. Uh, so uh, if these two pillars do work well, I think we should be uh, looking forward into our future and the success of, our, of the societies. Thank you very much indeed for sharing these valuable insights with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.